What's happening, people? It's James Beardwell, the Whittam Town supporter here. And welcome back to another Whittam Town FC match day vlog. Whittam Town are home to Brightling Sea Regent in the Velocity Cup second round. I am really looking forward to the match tonight and got my full singing voice all ready to get behind the Whittam Town players and the staff. And especially for our Whittam Town manager, Gary Kimball, as always. And so is my mates, the fellow Whitton Town supporters, they're feeling the buzz already as well. And I want to see our club, Whitton Town, do really well in the Velocity Cup this season. Because last season, in the Velocity Cup, we went out after we lost to Ipswich Wanderers away last season in the Velocity Cup. And I think it was 3-0, I believe. 3-0 away at Ipswich Wanderers in the 3-0 in the defeat in the Velocity Cup second round match last season. But this season, I want to see our club, actually we want to see our club, Whitton Town, do really well in the good cup run in the Velocity Cup this season. But we've just got to wait and see what tonight's game bring against Brighton Sea Regent. And now... I'm about to be on my way to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Brightling Sea Regent in the Velocity Cup second round match very shortly. Up the town! I'm currently now on my way to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Brightling Sea Regent in the Velocity Cup second round match. I'm feeling pumped up and ready for the Whitton Town home support with my mates, the fellow Whitton Town supporters as well. We're feeling the buzz for tonight. And just like I said earlier, I want to see our club, Whitton Town, do really well in the competition this season because last season we went out of the competition after we lost to Ipswich Wanderers last season. But this season... We have a really good squad this season. We have a good team this season. And we're currently third in the league, in the Eastman League North Division so far. But this is the moment for Whitton Town that we can have a good run in the Velocity Cup competition this season. Because I, I want to see our club do really well in the cup competitions this season. And then we've got the Essex Senior Cup to look forward to later in the season. But we're going to focus on tonight's game against Brighton Sea Regent. That I believe we're going to do it against Brighton Sea Regent. But I don't know what Gary will put out tonight. Whether they rest his first team or put some youngsters in to have a chance. A good run in the competition in the Velocity Cup. And we'll see how tonight's game bring. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic evening up the town. I'm now arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Brighton Sea Regent. And I'm just waiting for my mates, the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, to arrive to do the pre match force, half time force, and full time force as always. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic evening up the town. I'm now with the fellow Whitton Town supporter Connor. You alright, James? Good, thank you. It's a big game against Brighton Sea Region, but, uh, but I know we're in the Velocity Cup second round, but we want to see our club do really well in the Velocity Cup this season, because last season, in my opinion, that it wasn't great last season when we went out away to Ipswich last season. But so this season's a different story, but if we keep to the same squad, I believe we've gone a good run in the Velocity Cup, hopefully. Yeah, the way that we've been playing, we should... I mean, we have beaten these guys probably two out of the last three times in mm. the last season and a half, I think, that we've played them. So it should be, hopefully, uh, looking at the stats, an easy match out there. Mm. Just need to keep our heads held high. Uh, mm if we concede and just give it our all and try and score as many goals as we can today, I think, James. Yeah, hopefully, like, we, we, we want to win against Brighton Sea Region and we don't want to be a draw and go to another penalty shooter that we yeah. did against Haringey Borough. But that was a heartbreak against Haringey Borough. 
last this Tuesday after, I think it was, and then um, it was a massive heartbreak, uh, but it'll be a different story. But like I said, we want to see our club do really well in the Velocity Cup this season, but I don't know what Gary will put out tonight, but I... Come on, with him! And um, I think it's going to give a few substitutions a chance to start tonight, I think, because to give him a good run in, and we'll see how it brings tonight. Yeah, I think he will give a couple of the subs a run out just to get them their fitness up and stuff, just to see how well they are. And yeah, I think we could go a long way in the couple mm. of season, James. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Connor? Uh, I think it's going to be 3 0 with them. Wow, brilliant. Love the positivity. I'm going to be feeling positive as always on the match days and pre-match thoughts on my previous pre-match thoughts. I'm always positive and I don't know what they're like tonight. It'll be tough, but we don't worry about them. We just worry about ourselves and get the job done against these lot, Brighton Sea Regent. As long as the Whitton Town players put on a really good show tonight, I'm going 2 near Whitton Town. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Connor. That's and. Right. Can we get through to the next round in the, in the Velocity Cup and come on the town? Come on the town. Come on the town! I'm now with the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Ben, Callum, Laura, and Laura. Hey. Uh, hey, hey, James, how are we doing? Good, thank you. I'm looking forward to the game tonight. I'm really, we're really buzzing for tonight. And I don't know what they're going to put out tonight, whether they give some of the subs to give them a good start tonight, like give them a good, good run in. <laughs> and we'll see how he puts out tonight. I think the substitutions will give him a good chance for a run in for the whole night to give him a chance. But if we turn up tonight, I believe we can win. Go on, Ben, what do you think? Uh, what, for, um, like, um, I think, like, because I wasn't there on Sunday, I think we played really well. It was a bit scrappy, but we got three points, so all that Ooh. matters. Hopefully, hopefully tonight that we can um, also, by the way, that news, Justin, if we win, that we play Bowles and Pixie away in the next round, mm. if we win. And then I think I think we'll be OK, but it will be a close game, evenly matched tonight. I agree. I think it's going to be an evenly matched tonight because they're going to be up for it because they bring a lot of their fans over. And yeah. But if we show up tonight and give a good all for our supporters, to give them a good show for our supporters tonight. I believe we can do it. Yeah, obviously, you know, a credit credit to the fans of Brighton. They always come, they bring a lot of fans, they make lots of noise. So yeah, we know how tough the game's, game's going to be. We know we've obviously play, played Sunday, obviously, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what, I think personally, we should give some of the substitutes, substitutes a chance. Because, um, yeah, obviously, playing Sunday or only a day's rest, you know, obviously uh, some of the other players would want a chance. And I think, personally, in my opinion, I think obviously it'll be nice to win, but obviously for me, obviously, we want to, the league will obviously take priority. So, yeah, but I'm looking forward to, to the game. The weather's it's dry at the moment, no rain, so that's a positive for us at the minute. But it's going to be nice and sticky out there. Yeah, but no, I'm looking forward to the game. I think it's for us, we can put in a, a good good performance today. I agree and it'll be nice to see our club do really well in, the, in having a good run in the cup competition but like you said it may not be as, as important as the league but we like to see our club do really well in the good run in the cup like the Velocity Cup and then we've got the Essex Senior Cup coming soon sometime this season and um, we want to see our club do really well. Oh James I've missed this. I've missed you lot. Yeah. We've missed three games. I've missed you. Yeah. And you, Ben. Yeah. It's good to have you back. <laughs> and hopefully. It's um, good to be back, isn't it? We can get, um, great to be back. It's yeah. Great to be back. Well, I've missed this. I can't wait. I literally can't wait. I'm buzzing already. I can't Same. wait for the game. What are we thinking here? What's our score prediction, everyone? And now oh, we're coming to the right? score predictions. What's your score go prediction, on, Ben? ben? Um, that's a tough one. I'm going to go. Um, so. Depends how it plans out. So his first half is going to be a bit evenly matched. It's going to be a um, close call, but I think we will we will nick it two one right at the right at the death. Oh, what do you think, Laura? I'm going for a three one victory. 
I'm being positive, boys. Go on, James, what do you think? I'm going to be really positive as always. <laughs> and, not you. Um, <laughs> I am going to be... <laughs> Hang on, this is the Callum show. This is the Callum show. Love you, really, I think Callum. it's going to be a good game, I reckon. But, but we want to see our club do really well in the competition because, like, Last season, like, we lost to Ipswich in the second round last season. But we're going to focus more on this season and want to see our club do really well. But I'm feeling really positive tonight. I'm going to near Whitton Town. Um, and what's your score prediction, Callum? Oh, here we go. Go on. Yeah. I'm, I'm go. going to go. I think there's going to be a lot of goals in this tonight. I'm going to go really? Whitton Town 4, Brighton Chief 3. Wait, did you hear this? <laughs> Callum's gone for 4 3 to Whitton. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Rick's face! <laughs> Look at Rick's face! <laughs> you won't be saying that if it's the right score. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your time. And Cheers, can, James. Can we get through to the next round and come on the team? Come on, come on the team! Come on, we turn. 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 We turn a massive everywhere we go. We turn a massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. One, two, three, four. We turn a massive everywhere we go. We turn a massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. <laughs> Defend it, town. <laughs> One nil to Brighton Sea Regent. We're gonna win two one two one. We're gonna win two one. We're gonna win two one. We're gonna win two. Ice. Yeah. Oh my days! He went round the keeper and scored. Two nil to Brighton Sea Regent. Two nil to Brighton Sea Regent. Come on, town. Well done, James. Ole, 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 ole. Whitam, Whitam. Well cleared. Hey! Oh. 
Go, go, Boya! Come on! Put on sound! Defend it town. Corner to Brighton C Regent. No. Good say, James. Good say, James Asku. Come on. Come on. They wanted it more. Time score, Whitton Town nil, Brighton C Region 2. And here we got the fellow Whitton Town supporters, Laura, Connor, Paul and Callum. Hello, mate. All right, James. Don't know what went wrong in the first half. Like, um, the first goal just went in the net. And then I think that the other one went round the goalkeeper, went into the back of the net. But in your opinion, what needs to improve for the, in the second um, half? First half, it wasn't great for us, but... Mm. Watching the game, Brighton see wants it a lot more than we do. Mm. I don't think we, we're not we haven't started. Rowan obviously had that one chance, but you can't really be relying on one chance in the entire first half to get your goal. We didn't create hardly any chances, but hopefully the second half we come out fighting because you know next goal is crucial. If they get it, it's probably dead and buried. But if we get it, we're right back in it. So yeah, not a great, not a great first half from us. But no, we just need to come out second half, and get that, get that next goal. Yeah, we need to get the goal to pull one back to get us right back in the game because, like, I think, in my opinion, I think the tactical system may, may need to change a bit in the second half. It may have tweaked it a little bit in the first half. That's what led to their goals. But I think the tactical change, that might, have, that might change the game, in my opinion. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the manager does in the second half. Though. It's a difficult situation, I suppose, because most of the side played on Sunday. It's a really quick turnaround to be expecting to play on Tuesday. So there's a lot of players we don't normally see who've done well. And uh, there's a lot of players who we do see normally are not perhaps in the normal position. So, yeah, I think the manager's been forced to change it a bit because they played on Sunday and uh, they found it quite difficult. Uh, but you know, 2 0, they're still right in it. Like Callum said, next goal is going to be right, or if Ooh. we get it, we're bang, slap bang back in it. If they get it, probably game over. But yeah, I think he's been forced into this by the fact that they all played on Sunday. But you know, still in the game, so get the goal and we're right back in it again. Yeah, to get the goal back in the second half or get us right back in the game because, like, the first half, to be honest, hasn't been great, but like. I think what needs to improve in the second half, I, f I think it's a tactical change might need to improve. But, Possibly. But what, what needs to change, in, in your opinion? Uh, yeah, we just, we just need to kick up the butt, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
we, he needs to give them the right old word at, at the moment and try and get their heads back into the game. And we don't look like we're playing like a team today, do we? No. we are, I think, as you said, you know, we played on Sunday, so, you know, OK, I get that. But we just seem a bit mismatched, don't mm. we? Ooh. But, you know, as you say, we've got to come out, we've got the positive. But, come yeah. on, we've got to... We, we've got the next out. 45 minutes to think we about. Can, we, if we score the next goal, then game on. Get us right back in the so, game, get the goal yeah, back. Yeah, I think... What, we, what you guys are saying, I think maybe it would really, we've probably got no choice but to change it. We know it hasn't worked. Well, there's obviously making no substitutes because Kingy's still, Josh is still there, Antoine's still there, so we're making free subs, are we? Yeah, Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, yeah. so we're making free subs at half time. Well, <laughs> we've got no choice but to change it, that's really. Good. You know, because if we change it, out. if we change it, it doesn't work, at least you've tried yeah. it. So, so leave yeah. it too long. So, you know. Yeah, let's I just think. Do it. I think the second half we need a bit more pacing it in the team in the second half. But like you just said, we need a rocket up their backside to get them going. <laughs> no, yeah. Like we summed said, it up, summed it up perfectly. Yeah, like we up. said, one good cop and one bad cop from the management. <laughs> but like, um, but we'll see how we get on in the second half. But I can feel it. We can get back in it as long as I think the tactical change may have do the trick. But. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We just the need the goal. Half. Simply, if we can get that next goal, yeah, it's 2-1. We are right back minutes, in the game. The next few minutes are critical. We can't go 3-0 down. If you go 3-0 down, we're screwed up. We've got good players on the bench. Yeah. We know we've got good quality on the bench to come on. They can change the game. I think the, game. You know, the guys who uh, come on in the first half have done well. It's just it's an unfamiliar team. Mm. They're playing the setup they're not so used to, and they're playing in positions they're not so used to. So it's been a tough ask for them. They've done well. They've worked hard. They've got the easiest positions. But we've got quality on the and what needs to change like with the tactical but but I think I think it needs sort of improved a little bit yeah. but, but um, there's some positives to look forward to in the second half. Also what you're saying what? about what, what we should change I think um, <laughs> tactically yeah obviously we're making three substitutions <laughs> see if hopefully they can make a difference. Hopefully, yeah, I think if we can, you know, I'm not sure who he's bringing on, but hopefully they come on and they can make a difference. And yeah, but as we said, if we get this next goal, we're right back in the game and it's anyone's game. So yeah. I think Josh, when he, if he comes on in the second half, I think he will make a huge difference if he comes on yeah. from Josh and Zude. He's on the bench at the moment, but I think if Josh comes on in the second half, he will make a big difference. Yeah, he's a quality player, and yeah, he will, he will make a difference. He shouldn't be one player to change our team. No, but, but you look at Josh's quality, he can, he can change a team within minutes. But the whole team has been changed. So a sort of centre back there, and he's not the one yeah. we're used to. No. Uh, we haven't seen much of Ronnie Bell at right back. He's done well mm. tonight, but he hasn't played many minutes. The midfield is different. There's not many players, even Callum is playing sort of up front in his own way. He normally plays a little out, out on the flank. So yeah, they're all mix match. It's a bit of a mix match in the first half. So the boys have done well, but they're playing in an unfamiliar system with other players they're not used to playing with. So it's been a difficult half for them. But yeah, let's just see what happens when he mixes it up in the second half. Yeah, and let's just, oh, what was it? Let's just hope that, yeah, these, these sounds, they can, they can change. Make 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 a change for us in the second half. Because if all we need to do now, we need to come out and fight and show Josh that we want it. On. Thank you guys Thank so, you, so much for your time. And can this be a better second half for, for Whitton Town? Yes, come on the town! Come on, come on the town! Unlucky Josh, unlucky!
Free kick to them. Come on! Ah. Head up, Ryan. Head up, Kevin. Head up, mate. Head up, Gary. Head up, Anton. Head up, Ollie. We go again. We go again, Josh. The full time score Whitton Town 1, Brighton Sea Region 2. And here we got the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Laura, Callum, and Connor. Hello, mate. Hi, James. Guys, there was lots of positives to take in the second half. And like, I know the first half hasn't been great, but the second half, we turned it around a little. We were trying to get the goal, but we got the goal back to 2-1 from, I think it was Josh, I believe. Yeah, it was. And, but we were so close to get the equaliser, but there were lots of chance after chance second half. But... I think the substitution made a difference. Yeah, look, it made a bit of a difference, but it's just a bit frustrating that we wait until the second half to start actually playing. But I think Bright Bright City were much the better team first half, but in the second half they didn't really offer anything. So we're probably a bit disappointed we didn't capitalise on it because Brighton yeah, didn't really have I don't think, many shots on target in the second half. They didn't offer anything, which probably suggests that they'd already thought the game was was won. But we got the goal back. We had the men the momentum was with us, and I was thinking maybe we can go and get get the equaliser it wasn't to be but to be honest we got we got bigger things in the league you know it would be nice to win mm. but now we can focus on the league but yeah so we yeah we move on don't we move on yeah we move, move on. on to the league we now the league. I know, we move on to the league on saturday don't we do you know what i mean you know it wasn't meant to be tonight was it just draw a line under it move on let's move but on to the league obviously as we said you know you no, know, there's no money involved in this cup so if you go on as four or five winning streak, you don't not going to get any money like you would with the FA competition. Which I suppose it's not a bad thing getting knocked out early as such. 
because you don't want to go far in the competition and then get knocked out. At least it's done and dusted now. We've got Walthamstow at home on Saturday, Wroxham at home the, on Tuesday as well. So some get good games to look forward to. And yeah, there's, you know, we move on from this game, it happens. And yeah, we've got two massive games coming up. So yeah, we need to be in and get behind the lads. 100%. And what is your thoughts, Con, in the second half? Yeah, we came out fighting, but... Yeah, they, right wingers here were just passing rooms around us and running past us. We just needed to pressure them a bit more, but uh, we gave it our best, which is the main thing, and we couldn't really do much more, but mm. we should have just pressured that little bit more to try and get into the spaces and stuff and pass it a bit better. and. We could have, I think we should have won tonight. We added a bit more pace in the second half, like I know that compared to the first half, but the second half we added a bit more pace in it in the second half when Josh came on made a big difference and then like we were trying to push for an equaliser or even like you said, trying to go for the win but it wasn't to be, but we made some good spells in the second half. Like, we played some like great football from the lads in the second half and like I think the second half made a little bit of a difference, despite the defeat. Yeah, obviously, as we said, we were saying earlier, you know, when Josh got on the wing, he had no no one was there supporting him. But by the time he'd gone round the players, seven of the Brian key players got back. So, again, if someone can be up there supporting Josh, he'll have someone to cross cross it into. But no, obviously we obviously it's frustrating to lose. But you know, second half there was a a lot of much better second half from us than it was in the first half. So hopefully we can. Take, we've got to take the positives out tonight, mm. haven't we? And move on. Yeah. We'll take the positives. If, if we can take the second half into yeah. into yeah. Saturday, because yeah. that was mm. good from us, then we can, you yeah. know, put on a, a decent game against Walthamstow. We know they're a good side, and we know obviously it's still early days yet, so we're still sort of getting to grips of who's going to be up there fighting, who's going to be down the bottom. So, you know, it's, again, another another tough game. We played them last season, so. We're, st was... we're still third in the league, and which is lots of positives to take. Third in the league, but we've still got a long way to go, and but things are looking good at the moment. Yeah, I think come come. We're unbeaten still in the league, aren't Ooh. we? So yeah. we've got to take that positive, haven't we? So come, yeah, it'll be good. Like come December, January time, that's where that's where we're going to sort of know where sort of the teams are. It's still early on, but we've got to keep challenging them. Yeah, we played Wolverhampton last season. You know, we beat them here three 0 We drew them away. I remember the uh, the game that got abandoned because of the rain. <laughs> that, that was torrential. I went in the, the toilet, came out, and it was absolutely chucking it down. It was uh, horrible. But no, we we beat them. We got four points from the last season. So there's no reason why we can't get get points points against them again on Saturday. And then Wrexham Tuesday. Wrexham obviously will have a long long travel down, so then obviously it's going to be hard for them. But no, two good games that we can look to be getting six points from. Thank you guys so much for your time. Let's take the positives on to Saturday's game and come on the town. Come on, come on, come the, on town! the town! So here you go. That's it. We are out of the Velocity Cup competition, but credit to Brighton Sea Regents on their win. So um, and I wish them all the best in the next round. But as for us... To be totally honest, I'm disappointed with the first half performance. But the second half, we did get a little bit better in the second half. Like, And I think the substitutions have made a difference. And we were trying to push for a late equaliser, but it wasn't to be. But as for our Whitton Town supporters, we gave absolutely everything throughout the whole 90 minutes. On getting behind the players and the staff and the manager, Gary Kimball, as always... And sometimes you win some and lose some. But um, but now we've got to concentrate on the league this season because we're now currently fourth in the league, I believe. And we've still got a long way to go in the season. And we've got the Essex Senior Cup and the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup to look forward to later this season. But can Whitton Town retain for Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup this season, that we won it earlier on in the season when we won the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup 2024 for the first time in 11 years. Can Whitton Town go on to win it again, the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup, later on this season? I'm feeling really confident, but I know we've gone out to the Velocity Cup 
competition, but um, but we just got to concentrate more on the league now and lots of positives to look forward to. And now we've got to keep our heads held high and the game's done and dusted and we move on to the next game. Hope you all enjoy today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is at home to Walthamstow on Saturday the 5th of October. Keep the faith, Whitton Town.